Revenge accusations. Is the Me Too movement going too far? Has it become a bit of a witch hunt? Sarah McIntyre, we know pendulums always swing one way or the other. The Me Too movement has been emboldening and empowering for women. But now we're seeing some serious false accusations. Where do you see this going? Nowhere good, uh, especially for men who are basically petrified right now to hang along around uh, any woman alone. Um, but I think with the with this uh, revenge accusations that you know you're we're jumping the shark. We've we've come too far in the pendulum, and people are saying, "Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't have some Salem mm -hmm. witch trials happening where everyone that gets an accusation is similarly uh, you know executed and they're fired from their job and they lose their family." You know what? At the risk of losing my my woman card, everyone keeps talking about we need to believe all the victims regardless. However. Questions still need to be answered, and we cannot be convicting these men in the court of public opinion. I'm going to go with the latest example we had with Canadian uh, journalist Steve Pakin, accused by former mayoral candidate Sarah Thompson, who herself has had some questionable behavior in the past. Um, I'm glad that TVO used some cooler heads, mm -hmm. didn't automatically suspend Mr. Pakin. There's an investigation, which I'm quite comfortable in saying he will be exonerated from. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think this is sometimes you're getting these accusations where people are just looking for their moment of fame mm -hmm. or, or moment of infamy by making the accusation, mm -hmm. whether or not there's any veracity to that accusation and hoping that they can get a few headlines in the story as opposed to actually standing up for victims or standing up for women's rights. They're really just making this a sideshow. Absolutely. We just saw last week, I mean, the Me Too movement, of course, creeping into the halls of the legislature in Canada and the parliament building, Patrick Brown. Rick Dykstra and the NDP MP Mr. Weir. I want to talk uh, quickly about Mr. Weir because that accusation, he's an NDP MP, that accusation came from a third party. There was actually no alleged victim. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about things going too far, would that be an example of that? Well, for sure. If the victim is is not coming forth themselves, mm -hmm. but it's it's a third party that's heard it secondhand, then uh, absolutely. I. Th but here's the thing: like there are industries or sectors of society where there's ha they've had the the last reckoning of feminist mm -hmm. movement, mm -hmm. and we can say it's probably true in politics. It's probably true in media. It's uh, happened in Hollywood, obviously. Um, and I think that you know now everyone's just kind of pushing that pendulum so mm -hmm. far that they don't even know what is appropriate mm -hmm. behavior anymore. That's a problem. You know, one of the names that everybody knows around the world, of course, is Ryan Seacrest. He just went through a two month, as he described, grueling ordeal, uh, a false accusation, completely exonerated. If you were to have advice for, you know, the, the, the women out there, the, the men out there, alleged victims, you know, and, and potentially those that are falsely accused, what do you say to them? Because right now we have governments trying to craft legislation around this. There's no amount of, uh, of law out there that's going to regulate common sense. Yeah, I know. That's what I was just going to say. You can't, uh, you can't legislate common sense. I mean, I think it's just the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Do unto others as you expect to be uh, done unto you. So um, we can't use today's measurement of what is okay and what is appropriate mm -hmm. on behaviors that happened 15 and 20 years mm -hmm. ago. That's happening, um, but it's really an unfair judgment for those people 10 or 15 years ago where certain behaviors were considered acceptable, but that are certainly not acceptable today. All right. Hashtag me too. Gone too far. Let us know what you think. Log on to Facebook and Twitter.